guys, how's it going? Welcome back, North Coast Constrictors. My name is Carl. This is my son, Max. And here in my hand, I'm holding my female Dumeril's bow, Athena. She's about four years old, four and a half years old, somewhere around there. And she is possibly going to breed for us this year. I do have two of them, a male and a female. And uh, the male ate last night, so uh, I won't bring him out. Now, I went back across all my YouTube videos um, the other day, and I was looking at my most viewed videos ever. And the highest viewing video that I've got on YouTube is a female, is this uh, video on, on, that I did on this female, probably about, oh, when I first started my YouTube channel. Um, and she's got, I think, I think it's close on 5,000 views or four and a half thousand views or somewhere around there. And I think the title is, is a Dumeril's the best pet snake? Could it be the best pet constrictor to have? So it's obviously a topic that people want. It's a topic that people want to watch. It's something that people want to know about. So I thought, let me do another video. Um, it's clearly very popular, and this particular snake is uh, it's, it's an awesome pet and possibly could be one of the best pet constrictors to have um, if you want something that is bigger than a ball python, uh, but smaller than a retic and a boa constrictor. And don't get me wrong, because she can get bigger than this. She's, she's about, I would say, five feet now. Um, she can get, I would say, six feet, maybe seven. Uh, highly doubted seven. I mean, I've, I've seen some big dumerals. Now, dumerals uh, are native to Madagascar, not to be confused with the Madagascan ground boa. Uh, uh, Madagascan ground boa. A dumerals is not an arboreal snake uh, at all. It's a very thick bodied snake, very, very powerful snake, very, very strong. So what, what, you, what, what you've got here basically uh, in, a, in, a, in a constrictor is the impressive size and um, whatever of a boa that is manageable or a retic that's not a really fully grown retic because I've got retics that are 10, 12 feet long and that which are still growing and will possibly get 20, 18 to 20 feet. Um, and then you've got something that's, you know, uh, smaller, uh, bigger than a, a ball python, but with the same, with the same um, kind of attitude as a ball python. Now, uh, look, they are. I don't want to say that no snake is aggressive. Okay, any snake on the wrong day can be aggressive. Any snake on the wrong day, if it's not feeling great, if it's hungry, if you give it a fright, if you scare it, it's going to probably. <laughs> just want to get my son in the camera here. Uh, I love watching my son on camera because when we re-watch his videos, when I'm talking, he loves pulling these faces and he does all these crazy things like, well, you, you only notice them when you re-watch the videos. Okay, so getting back to this beautiful girl here, you, you've, got, you've got a snake that's pretty much as docile as a, as a ball python, but yet incredibly strong, very powerful and very impressive but not as volatile and um, hard to manage as something like a reticulated python, okay? A reticulated python is a handful. I mean, I've done a lot of videos on my retics and they are all over the place. So when you're holding them, it, it really is, they are difficult to hold. You can see that this girl is very, very chilled out, okay? Um, and those colors are just amazing on her. I mean, have a look at that. I'm just trying to get the lighting right. Uh, the, this is really an amazing snake. They do come in two different colors. This is one of them, the most common, but they, I have seen them in like a black and gray color, almost like exantic. Okay, I would love to get my hands on one of those, but they are quite rare. I did have an opportunity to get one two years ago, but unfortunately, I didn't get one. Now, 
Look how nice and chilled she is. Now you'd think that I socialize and I, I handle this snake probably on a daily or a weekly basis. I haven't pulled her out of her enclosure for well over a month. Okay, and yet she's just cruising around and she's chilling and she is incredibly um, easy to handle. Uh, look, don't get me wrong, she is strong if she gets a grip on you, if you don't know how to... This is a perfect kind of like beginner snake if you beginner to intermediate. If, if you are a... Come, come in the camera, boy. If you, if you like got ball pythons and or if you kept house snakes or corn snakes or whatever and you want, you want something bigger but not too intimidating, a doom rolls is absolutely one of the best ways you can go. I mean, there's lots of other snakes that you can get, you know, that I'm talking about just docile and chilled. A doom rolls, they look incredibly intimidating. I mean, they really do. I mean, if you just have a look at that face, they, they look savage. They, do, they really do, you know, so they're impressive as well. You know, um, I had some really, really noisy neighbors a uh, couple, couple months ago, causing a bit of a problem. And I, I picked up this girl <laughs> and I went across next door. I was just holding her like this and I just went and knocked on the door. I was like, hey, you got, they were having a party and they were just going, getting out of hand. And I, I, went, I went through across to their house and knocked on the front door and I had this girl just holding her like, like, like she was a lap dog. And these, these guys literally crapped in their pants and, uh, oh, please, please get the snake away, get the snake away. Now, like if you're a snake guy, if you're a snake person, you know that a doom rules is not. I mean, you would have thought like I was walking in there with a black mamba or something like that. But needless to say, they, they, they turned the music down and they all shut up and, uh, and they kept very, very quiet, okay? And um, yeah, absolutely, 100%. Guys, I, I highly recommend Doom Rolls Bow. And let me tell you something, here in South Africa, they are cheap. They are not expensive. They are not expensive at all. You can get a hatching for about a thousand rand. Um, that's about, oh, $50. It's crazy now, $60. Uh, I don't know what they go for in America. Um, I'm, I'm not certain. I think Dumerals uh, would be, um, I'm, uh, that's a hatchling. I mean, if I had to sell this girl now, I'd probably sell her for about 2,000, 2,500 rand. She's, a, she's an adult female breeding ready, so I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't take less than 2,500 rand for her. And as I say, she is going to pair up for me. They give birth to live young as well, so it takes the whole incubation. Uh, headache away from you checking the eggs making sure the temperatures are right you know they do that all for you um so yeah without a doubt i, I think that this is definitely uh, as a as an intermediate snake for somebody that wants to start going bigger in their collection or start going bigger in their snakes but they want something that's manageable yet impressive the dumerals bow is your best bet in in in, in my opinion um she eats a big bus rat about once every two to three weeks. You know, I don't know if the overfeed is this good old solid lean muscle here. You know, um, yeah, guys, I don't, I don't know what else to uh, kind of. You know, I think one of the things I must say about a dumerals is is I think they would probably, if they came in all the different traits and morphs like ball pythons, if you got all these different colours. Uh, and like uh, in retics as well, you get all these different morphs, but, and, the, and ball pythons sell better than retics, um, yet retics still sell well, given their size though, even mainland retics. Um, I reckon that if a Dumeril's boa was able to give us different genetics, different morphs, different traits, and we could get them in a multitude of colors, they would outsell every single other snake on the market. Honestly, just given the fact, just given their size and given their manageability and just how, literally how easy they are to keep. Max, let me, I'll just give it to Max over here to hold. You know, Max, Max is comfortable around snakes. You know, he's been, he's been with me and watching and learning from me uh, for the last couple of years now on how to handle these snakes and how to 
Um, you know, just be calm. One of the things about adumerals and, and pretty much most snakes is that you always have to remain calm. They pick up uh, Shiri, she, she likes, <laughs> she's a, she's a one-man snake, this, this girl, unfortunately. She always likes to be with me. Um, but uh, my 10-year-old son can handle her with ease, no problems, no aggressiveness. But Max is calm around the snakes and they pick up on your vibe, they pick up on your energy. And if you're nervous and you're agitated, they will be nervous and they will be agitated. And, you know, I'm giving her room to move, she's exploring. And another reason why we do this, guys, is we're exercising, you know. It's kind of like, doesn't look like it. I mean, yes, I'm kind of moving my body around and doing a bit of yoga here. Yeah? <laughs> you know, I don't know what this position's called. <laughs> okay, um, but you know, I'm giving her, I'm giving her a bit of a workout to making her crawl around and and whatever. But I just, I always make sure to keep her like supported as much as I can. You know, she's a heavy-bodied snake. Anyway, guys, I think I think that about wraps it up for this video on this beautiful girl. I think we'll say cheers now, guys. Please, if you enjoy this content and you want to see more like it. Um, we are going to be pairing up this female this year, if not this year, next year. Um, you know, so stay tuned for that. And if you subscribe to my channel, you can always hit the notification bell. Um, always good to have new people join the journey with us here at North Coast Constrictors. So from myself and Max, and from let's get it, let, let's get ahead in the picture, and from Athena. Cheers for now, and we'll see you on the next video.